On my travels through Quebec this summer, I had the opportunity to meet a couple that were living in a beautifully converted ProMaster van. We're talking this couple were so cute, you know, the kind of people you just want to pinch on the cheek. They were so raw and authentic and full of life. They were telling me that they lived outside of their 1900s general store in their van. I was so intrigued by their story and they tried to tell me about the general store, but there's no way they could have put into words what I experienced right here today. I am so glad I made the trek out here because this place is magical. It is beautiful and so much life and history here. I truly honestly believe that this place sat empty for so many years, just waiting for Isabel and Richard to come home. They have turned this place into the most beautiful experience I've had in a very long time. So let's go inside and meet Richard and he can share the story about this amazing place because this feels like home. Hello, hi back again. Uh, welcome to uh, Le Brun General Store. Uh, built the first general store here. Well, uh, in Quebec, we're in Quebec. We're on the Road of the King. The Road of the King is the oldest, longest public road in North America. So at the old time, everybody had to pass here between Montreal and Quebec. Uh, here they start their first general store uh, by Eugène Trudeau in 1827 between three towns. Uh, four kilometers each side and uh, Eugène decided to build a general store because uh, it was the main road from Quebec between Montreal and Quebec. So 1827 they were selling uh, like uh, uh, trading with the uh, the hunters thing like that and after that 1862 it was uh, Joseph Bassin was here he decided to build, to build, uh, to buy another general store that was two miles from here, four miles from here. He pulled it by horse, he rolled it on trees, and he, he, stand, he put it here so he could live on the other side like a house and take the second one for a general store. If you can see, like there's a picture just over there. This is the 1803 general store. And the Lebrun family came here around 1901. Uh, we had a church halfway between here and the, 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 the town of uh, Masquinanger and the church was 1763 so it's very old for Canada and very old for Quebec too and they had a fight to add the new church but the, the, the church decided to build the church where's the city actually so the Lebrun was cut here so instead of uh, saying oh what we're gonna do this they decided to build a big big general store 1915 uh, there is four floor here the big be uh, there's a big basement full cement floor they were selling like a, a barrel downstairs uh, prohibition alcohol downstairs first floor is 12 feet very high for a general store usually it's around 10 feet they wanted to make it big so they, they, they put 12 feet second floor 10 feet and we have a haddock on top of that this uh, general store closed in 1974 so all the big shopping center were here at that time and when it closed everything inside was sold by an auction and the owner before me bought in 1976 two years after so that's why the general store is still in a great shape and what they wanted to do is a museum with the magazine General Lebrun so for a few years they restored the place and after that they asked people to bring back things that were sold by the auction so people were bringing back things, they put that in the window and they accumulated like seven and eight thousand items of old general store. So before me, it was a museum, you had to pay to come in. In 2008, they tried to sell the museum, it didn't work. The year after, they were selling the building like a house. And me and Isabel, a new couple, uh, uh, we, uh, we had a two job uh, at half an hour the other way, half an hour the, the other way. We never heard about the place before and we write down Masquinoge and the house for sale was that, a museum. And we say, wow. So we decide to, uh, to uh, sell, uh, like sell everything. We decide to come here and we quit our job on each side. I decided to keep mine because I was an accountant and uh, uh, but uh, it was too much like paperwork for me. I want to have more uh, creative life, so I decided to quit my own other job too. 
to become Mr. LeBron because I'm not a real Mr. LeBron. But now everybody don't call me Mr. LeBron. But us, we didn't want people to pay to come in a general store, so we decided to buy, to uh, dress like old time. We never sell the museum, and it's free to get in. But people can buy some old candy, uh, uh, old toys that remember souvenir, uh, regional product, uh, gift that fit with the old time of the general store. And on the second floor, uh, maybe you'll see it a bit later. We may we decide to make a show place. We have some singers coming here. And now we have 80 show a year, and we have only 120 person can sit, but it's always full. We have no town close to here, but people come from two hours around to see a show here. Me and Isabel were living on the other side on an 1827 store for five years, and five in 2004 we decided to kick us out so we could make a coffee place on the other side. So now people can eat here, and you can visit 1827 store. And you should see the nice stove on the other place, 18, uh, 1926 uh, stove on the other side, and it's really wonderful. And that's about it. Now it's 10 years, it's our 10th anniversary here at uh, Magasin Général Le Brun, and we are really happy to make, uh, as you'll, you'll see with the uh, small shot that uh, you're going to make, uh, 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 Chrome is gonna do a wonderful job to seeing you how it feels to be here. Thank you very much and have a good visit. Cafe Historic chez Eugène. This is Eugène Trudeau who built the first general store, 1827. Uh, we were living there for five years. We kicked us out in uh, 2014 to make a coffee place so people could eat here. So the, it's a way to visit the 1827 uh, original store, but you can eat the uh, original product. Uh, everything is made here, almost a 99% all the, uh, the the breakfast, the, the, the meal for the day, uh, panini, uh, uh, homemade, uh, old time, uh, how do you call that, uh, potato candy, I don't know if you remember that, we make them here, uh, you can have uh, all the soup uh, is made here, very, not, uh, very good to eat and uh, very tasteful, so we invite you, if you come to visit the general store, it's not uh, an obligation, but you can. Uh, it's an obligation to visit the place. It's not an obligation to uh, to eat here. But take a look at the 1926 stove on the other side. Incredible and very tasty. And you can ask uh, maybe uh, the one who's filming the video if it was good. He, he tastes everything here. So thank you very much. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Okay, hi everybody again. I'm starting to be used to that now. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna ask Coca Cola to get a, a, a nice uh, compensation for that. Uh, but it's a real old <laughs> fridge from old times, so everybody fits, uh, that fits with the place. 
I'm gonna tell you just about the place on second floor. At the old time, a general store was a place that people could go to the church and after the church, they were going to the general store, watching the first TV, the first radio. And so we decided to make a place that we have some show here upstairs. So people, maybe they don't go to the church anymore, but they will go to the general store to uh, have a gathering. So what we did upstairs, we call it, the, uh, the, the place is calling the haddock. So it's like a haddock. So it's decorated with everything we could found on this place when we bought. So here now we have 80 show a year. Uh, people from, come from two and, two and three hours around to see a show here. But it's really a, a nice art experience uh, uh, to, um, to have a show here. Almost every singer of Quebec comes here, even if we have only like 120 plays, but people still come here and all the artists love to have a, uh, a show here. So uh, we're gonna make, make a small tour of the, of the place and we invite you uh, one day to see a show here or just to visit the place because we have an old piano over there we have uh, some mannequin we have uh, lots of weird things to look around and we invite you to uh, come any time of the year this is a really important part of uh, Le Bourgogne General Store we have uh, a piano aeolian this is the ancestor of the mechanic piano there's only two in Canada like that, and we have the two. Uh, this was built in New York between 1895, 1910, and uh, they were selling that for a silent movie, theater, dance place, and uh, they call it piano player. How it works, everything uh, works by hair. So each hole is, this is the reading bar. So each hole is related with one rubber hose to one note. So uh, first uh, hole here is the first note on the left side and it goes down to the end of the piano hole. Uh, all the right side here is like the engine for the roll. So when I pedal, you can see it's like crankshaft and uh, the crankshaft here, it goes like, uh, make it goes round with the wheel and the chain. This is make the paper uh, roll advance. All the paper roll is from 1906. Oh, I have a more than 110 years old uh, paper roll and this was recorded like uh, uh, New York, uh, Chicago, Toronto and Montreal at the old time. All roll from, come from these cities. It's like a rec regular paper book, it's really fragile, you can see it's really hard to uh, it's not you you can repair that you it could but it's very difficult so when you lose a roll well you lose a roll <laughs> but now i have 500 roll like that so i put it on this i can put the chain attach the pedal and advance the paper at the beginning of the roll there's a number 80 it's the speed to play the music so here i have a needle with a chart so when I put to 80, it's gonna limit the air, so the angel will not go faster than 80. So even if I try to impress you with my legs, it won't. It's gonna stay the same speed. Maybe I'll get more uh, sweat, but it's gonna be the uh, same speed. The music was recorded like 110 years ago, and people had to play on a real piano that had a punching machine in the back. So when they played the, the, the note, they were, like one fast note is one punch and if they stick their stick their finger on the note while well, it was punching uh, punched together so this represents the time that they pass pass on the piano and you're gonna hear the music is as as good as 110 years ago you ready let's go <laughs>
I just want to say uh, thank you very much to come to see uh, to come to see the video of uh, Magazine General Lebrun from uh, Isabel and me, Richard. Uh, we can invite you to come here at Magazine General Lebrun anytime. It's open every day of the year, and in the summertime you can come with your van, your camping, something, uh, anything. You can park the night here to, uh, to have a nice breakfast with us. Uh, we are here like all summer all winter we have some show upstairs that we you can uh, uh, feel the feeling of all all uh, place that you have singers in, in the place with all the uh, very old sound very uh, close to like a like a family here it's a really like a, a family feeling and it's free to get in you can buy so uh, it's a general store so you can buy old candy uh, souvenir uh, old-fashioned soap thing like that and you can take any picture you want, you can take any video if you want here. And uh, we really appreciate you to come again. And thank you from Isabel and me again. And see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>